Right, let's get into this quick because I have a D&D session to prep now. Playtest for February 2nd. Loadouts. Available loadouts increased to six. Light offense, light defense, medium offense, medium defense, heavy, you guessed it, offense and defense. Each perk is now associated with one of each loadout. See the perk section below for more info. We'll get into this a little bit. So this is a test, one, two, one, two. This is just a test where the perks are now locked to an armor class or a function. You can still change your loadouts. You can still change the weapons you're carrying, I think. Should probably check that. Okay, so we need to look over this. So indeed, we have light offense, light defense. They sw are switching sides. You still have access to the same weapons. However, you do not have the same belt items. You still have the same packs. Medium offense, same thing. Um, medium defense, however, has a light turret as a pack. So there's a little bit of difference. It's different. So the AP grenade stays for medium. The sticky and EMP are switched. Um, are not available. There you go. Um, grenade and chain gun remain the same. Hemi offense, same thing. The weapons just switch sides, so it looks weird, but they are still there. And the belt items, so heavy defense gets the mine, heavy offense gets the flag, the flag grenade. And um, the heavy defense has the dome shield regen, and heavy offense has heavy shield regen. So this is just a first iteration. Um, you also have a little bit more speed and mass, so the heavy defense, actually, they, they don't they are not yeah so but what we do have is now the perks are built in which means that light offense is pathfinder now which means no longer suffers from drag while holding a bomber flag increased pickup range for objectives by 60 percent all right so flag drag needs to die you don't need to have now Literally, only light offense, aka capper, can actually do anything with the flag. You can no longer do it in medium, you can no longer do anything. So, flag drag needs to die. Every, the game is capture the flag. Allow us to do things with the flag if we are not designated as a capper. Okay? Increased pickup range, so now... The default pickup range for flags is increased by 60% by cappers. How about, instead of that, which does a lot of weird shit because we've got the blink back, we've got still got uh, Infiltrator, people are complaining about uh, Heavy on Flag being completely bonkers, uh, which I don't know what happened now with Heavy Defense, we'll see. We're not going to discuss in-depth balance here of how all of this slots together because that's the point of the test. But, here's my suggestion. If you need perks, which I still think you shouldn't, but okay, have a perk that reduces impulse from enemies and increases impulse from friends. Or how about an, an, an overdrive, right? That you can, not like in legions, but maybe that you can burn your health instead of energy if you run out of energy, just to correct a little bit, making camping a little easier, right? You can overcorrect, well, you can correct your route by burning some energy, by burning some life or something like that along those lines may facilitate making things easier without necessarily making things more difficult for other people impulse reduction so you can't get bumped away or you know impulse increase to make things a little easier those kind of things you know light defense now has sentinel which is basically the kappa perk without the free this jump or the free impulse that you get when a flag is taken so 50 percent energy um max energy um so let me see here when the enemy is holding the objective you get 50 energy you get max energy you get energy render generation and additional 25 percent to the flag carrier stop that remove the damage increase not necessary you're you're allowing for those great midairs but it's not a good solution because it screws up your entire now you especially now because now your cappers are always going to be light they're always going to be really quickly to kill so real quick to kill now um 
the the problem is right now that a lot of people are saying and even some very prominent people yes again the uh the veteran elite um that chasing is now completely broken now i will posit if an entire role was dependent on a single perk then maybe there is a different problem I'm going to say maps, of course. This can be solved through maps because you create a midfield and you create travel areas where your cappers will be. We've had this conversation before. But regardless of what solution you are finding, the fact that chasing doesn't exist because a perk has had an impulse removal may be a problem. Anyway, medium offense is now Raider. Oh, these words. These are all Tribes Ascend words, by the way, but yeah. 20% um, increase to your throw power when throwing a bomb or flag. So that's insinuating midfield, right? Or passing or lamaing because you're not going to be grabbing the flag because flag drag will reduce you to a pile of ash. Deal 25% bonus damage to the base assets. Yes! Ah, PvE content, I love it. Ignition for medium defense. Repair tools 50% more effective. Great! Um, while within 100, 125 meters of your base, is that near or far? Use the Path of Exile terms here. Uh, gain additional vertical thrust and jet control. That should not be a thing. Everybody should be equal in their movement based off of the mass of their class. Mm, I don't like that. Heavy offense. Doombringer, which is basically survivalists reduced to the only class that was benefiting from it the most. Health nuggets now restore a thousand additional health. So we're back to that. Um, okay. Juggernaut. 30, 40 increased percent. 40 percent increased mass. I'm sorry, I'm having a stroke. Deal damage to enemies you collide with. So that's basically those. Um, while standing within 20 meters, so again, nearby. 15% um, damage resistance. Ah, <laughs> one of my suggestions. Damage resist, okay, great. Passive health and ammo regeneration. All right, cool. So you got, you're trying to buff the heavy on flag. Let's see what that does. Now, so passive health and ammo regeneration, you're basically allowing the heavy to be on there more. The point of the heavy on flag is of course to body block and stuff. Uh, we'll see what that happens. I'm not a fan of the damage resistance because, again, the same thing like dealing damage to a capper, you now have two exceptions to where your damage is no longer equal, right? But there you are. That is the state of them loadouts. We'll just have to see what this does. Personally, I just want equality for all, in all places. So... This is further away from what I wanted, kind of. Um, but yeah, so I also wanted to see, because Eris said that the damage on all spin fusers is equal now. Dual tips say otherwise still. All right, so weapons. Projectiles are smaller at shorter distances. This is, of course, to... This has been a giant thread. This has been a giant thing. Um, a large conversation. And again, thanks for the devs for, you know, joining in um this is about yeah about how easy it is to mid air and that the hitboxes are still too big so for the newer players they're of course calling ah latest because you know it's not uh, nostalgia all these things bollocks we are not raving morons the lot of us okay it is about the fact that the better players, and we've seen this in the tournament, because it, let's face it, we've had a very good playtest in that tournament that shows what this game will be later down the line when more people have learned this game, right? That's what you need to look at. And what is happening is people are being flak cannoned out of the sky because of the easier hitboxes. Midairs are becoming blasé. They are becoming easy. And yes, the argumentation from Erez was we need the dopamine hit because that's the one that hooks you that's like getting the maps in path of exile and i disagree because there ha also has to be an aspiration of skill tribes has the movement the rollouts the jetting the being fast the hitting people on the ground which is for a lot of people is going to be new 
projectile based weapons are going to be new and hitting people on the ground is going to be new i would even say increase the splash damage of certain weapons so they have a larger radius so you get a little tick when you hit someone do no damage or no impulse right just a fall off radius that does like maybe 20 to 15 damage or something just to show hey you were close enough to hit someone those things are all parts of what make tribes unique and that that thing is already new now that little package is already something that people haven't seen in a very long time even doing things flag related making sure you get accolades for certain things an offense player for instance doesn't really get any accolades right now if they are there and they are disrupting the flag they are distracting people let's say they are present when a high speed grab is achieved then the offense players in radius should say hey good job you were there even though they might have been doing something else but they're like hey a thing happened look that kind of feedback that those micro onboarding elements need to point people in the direction that this is a game not just about the kills because this is important if you promise a game just about the kills it is not there especially at a high level then people are going to be pissed off tribes isn't about the kills it's about when the kills happen this needs to be incentivized there are and again the tournament shows this perfectly the better players will ignore certain players or just refuse to kill someone because they're out of position and it will take them longer to actually get back into position rather than killing them killing is still important kills are still important but again it needs to be poured into that mold of CTF and team play. All of that considered, that's where your midair comes in. Your aspirational content. Because you will hit one maybe in your first play session, depending on what your feedback or sorry, your background with, our, with uh, FPS is. And that's where content from the community, from streamers, from all those things like, that's what they're doing, by the way. I'm not saying that it needs to be incredibly difficult in Tribe and it was nearly impossible. I'm just saying, this is an important debate, we should have it. And I disagree that we have to slot it into the dopamine machine. We were joking halfly when we said, your first meter, that's it, you're there, you're ours now. While true, the reason why that is, is because it is an achievement. I am certain midairs are just happening now at close range where most of them will happen so Erez was against this change of making the projectiles smart, smaller at shorter distances I am too because they should be equal because what is the criteria here what what are you how do I explain this to a new player like oh yeah by the way if you know, see that rock over there if it's past that it'll actually you know no consistency no band-aids four foundational principles that shouldn't be changed right and onboarding to assist that that's my goal anyway or that's my take on it grenade launch reduced knockback by, knock by 15 percent okay good it was a little bit too silly it's still very silly grenade launchers blah 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 no longer to a dome shield that was weird okay fusion mortar increase adjusted projectile arc great adjusted fuse timer great explosion effect adjusted to better match the radius good explosion damage fall off to 60 percent i still think if you are on the ground near a fusion mortar and you are not a heavy you should be in trouble the mortar should be oppressive if you are peppering the stand with it you need to be dealt with that is kind of the point or you know you have to defend in a different way because that's how the clear happens the heavy on flag needs to be powerful but the problem is right now we have very heavy cowboy capping as we say solo capping where you know this regardless of disruption Kappa can still come in do a blink do an infiltrator thing very solo focused disruption should come from the offense and the offense should have the tools to do so right now i feel that the way we saw it in the tournament it can be effective but i don't know the balance is still a little weird um should a capper be allowed to solo grab 
that is a discussion that's something we should see how is it going to happen in pubs if solo capping is too strong then a single capper can dictate an entire map in the lower brackets at least belt and items so there's a lot of changes here um one is there are a few important things here right so impact night run reduced to a single charge and it's only on light now remember friendly hit the impact night run will not force teammates to drop the flag i didn't even know this was a thing but there you go so the nitron has been reduced which is good because it was well again it fits in the balance somewhere i'm not a fan of it i feel cheap using it um and it was again something very much featured in the tournament where standoffs were quickly resolved is that a good thing is that a bad thing i think if this is a good change you get your shots and that's it um Maglev disc as well, that's good. Now, stealth drains energy, phase drains energy. This is the first step into balancing these things. Of course, again, if they are going to have to have too many nuts and bolts, then clearly there is a problem with them. And that again feeds into the previous discussion of, you know, where do you where do you want your cappers to be? What do you want your cappers to be? Um, so this is the first thing. I haven't seen uh, any pug footage yet. I don't know how, how this affects balance, whether this aff affects balance at all, we will have to see, right? But this is a good step. Again, right now you have, the only reason to repair your radar is for these guys. A bit weird. Shield pack consumes energy, that's good. Shield breaks, energy stops and activating the shield pack second time ends the ability. So now it's like it was before in the before times. Good. Heavy shield pack. That is on the heavy offense only now. So don't freak out too much. Um, I think? Or, ugh, I don't know. Doombringer, I don't even know. It's on one of them. Go back and look. I don't... Uh, right, so now the heavies have a shield pack. Again, the heavy balance and everything was still a little weird. Adding that to it. They're usually on the ground anyway, not using their energy. We'll see what happens with that. Um, not really going to call anything out there. Explosive Nitro grenade to impulse grenade, no longer affects self. Knockback increased. Okay, that's actually my suggestion. I, I suggested to have the Nitron no longer draw flags, but, you know, give more of a knockback. I think other people have suggested. I'm not claiming this, okay? But I, something I said, like, how about you give it some upwards momentum so you can shoot people up in the sky or something? So something that doesn't reduce um, or, you know, affects a core element of the game, which is dropping the flag, which is what the game is about. But... Um, Okay, impulse, so you can toss people off. That might be good if the bases, you know, throw them off bases. Let's see, of course, now you have a built-in perk that the heavy on flag will always have 40% increased mass, so I don't know how much that'll affect them. Dome shield, dome shield has been under the radar for me, no pun intended, um, but it's now working because it was broken. Uh, things were going through it and stuff, so it was rather useless. I've seen it used a little bit in the tournament, but I don't know to what great effect because we haven't really had a lot of heavy on flag um, views on things. But there we go. So we have a damage reduction there. Note, these armor perks are the perks now. The perks are experimental and will be subject to change based on testing. All right, Pathfinder. So we've gone over these already in game so I skipped ahead a little bit um i don't like the tribe descent angle i want universal things for everyone and i want the perks to be things that don't define a role you know like for instance a the one i mentioned the uh impulse reduction perk maybe that's good for a heavy on flag as well Things like that, you know? Good. Honor bomb is honor ball. Shaz ball. Bomb, 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 bomb. I, yeah. So I should probably be looking at this. Um, it's turning out to be an okay intro mode. And that's basically it. Team Hunters was fun. The ooh, flags are now a little balanced. That's good. 
get a bad idea to pour feedback. I think we need to move to a point where the first few maps, Wave Mist and Catabatic, need to be reworked and they need to be mixed in with Berlin Noise. I've said this before, so they don't have the zero terrain. They still have that problem. Said about, I've talked about this before. Yeah. Catabatic, hilariously, in Tribe Descent was also a very unbalanced map. Um, had its, had very big problems, but people liked it because of the nostalgia factor and everything. This Catabatic has nothing to do with the previous Catabatic. It's starting to fill that role, though, of something we keeping around because it wasn't that bad, but it is still. I'm sorry, right? Torment was good because it has normal tribes terrain on it. Dangerous Crossing, again, same thing, has problems. It has normal tribes. It is a tribes map. The others are not tribes maps. I'm sorry, they're not. They're broken. I will keep saying that you need to move on from those basic tutorial this very early basic block out of a new player tutorial presenting it very rough and gives a safe area to practice skiing bomb tossing and shooting uh, future updates are planned to enhance it with better instruction steps and audios this is one of the most important things in the game right now and i will take my time to investigate it but again because it's an early block out just the existence of this is one of the most important things this is one of the things that's going to make or break the game that and proximity chat i'm not even fucking joking all right ctf 12v12 persistent matches oh god finally good persistent matches is very important um that was killing drive to play and this is why everyone was going into custom lobbies because you could have persistent lobbies um so players will roll into the next match bank fuck very important as well and backfilling into matches something we've been saying from day one this is very important this is amazing to have this is very important holy fuck yes um team down by a point and the flag is off the stand the match will go into overtime which is again very important a core element of the game type good this allowed the down the down team to even the score and go into sudden death if they can cap the flag if the enemy flag is returned to overtime ends again this is good Expanded the bases for Torment, include the underground generator room, this is a first pass blockout. Move the radar station to the old generator spot to increase protection, yep, so people were... People were sniping that, it's still a thing in uh, DX, I think. Added an additional base turret at the highest point, fine, this is development of the map. I still want you to take a look at the, the terrain as well, because it was good, because it was tribes terrain, but that doesn't mean the, the map still needs doesn't need changes right just the lobbies uh that's fine removed on our ball versus catabatic wave missing dry dog that's maybe for the best uh because now we, there are new maps movement slight improvement to jetpack air control for our cl all classes improved the network performance thrust pack gave blah 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 so i have no confirmation and i will click on this real quick sorry about this I will quote directly from the drizzle about the physics. If things seem a little floaty and strange and weird, well, this should have been in the patch notes, but we have to dig this out of the feedback channel. Again, I'm starting, I'm still polite here, but don't put it in the patch notes, but put it somewhere so we don't have to dig around, okay? So people were saying, oh, things look floaty. Okay, look floaty, feel floaty, sure. Hey there, if you remember the thread last week regarding ski gravity, we received feedback mentioning that the curve was causing inconsistencies that players regarded as confusing. So when we went to just iterate how gravity influenced player movements on the slope, a discovery was made showing us that there was an issue with how gravity was being enforced in network games, any of the PvP modes, versus standalone matches like training or time trials. We were designing for what was sh being shown in the network games but what was in those games was a result of a misreport by the server so the actual values we designed were represented in the standalone environments and those numbers were way off this was causing a lot of inconsistencies with gravity and that was possibly a large contributor for mixed feedback as it was quite possible that the people would experience gravity slightly different from match to match regardless we fixed that and did our best to normalize the new curve with world gravity in the limited time we had for this play test. So they basically did a, a well, low level 
pass or change to everything and they're now trying to bring it back up right so probably we need to put our custom matches to 1.2 or something um so yeah we'll just have to reevaluate some of the new numbers to use now that the inconsistencies have been removed so again this was true it felt inconsistent it felt like gears being pulled and certain maps being strange and you know loss of all those things so hopefully this will fix this but right uh, as i said here appreciate answering in the feedback channel here but it would be amazing if this were logged somewhere more global understanding this might be too technical for the patch notes but showing this to more people might prevent a lot of grief so i'm here now saying this right okay so they changed the the, the physics oh god i just oh, there we go um they changed the physics working on it things might be weird so that's on top of this right General increase party size. Woo woo woo. We're gonna have a party. Reduce flag throw speeds and bounciness. This is uh, this was the main character of the tournament, right? Here's a flag. Oh, it landed in tribes too. Um, good. Sunrise spawns times to five across the board. Thank fuck for that. Now let us recall in midair. Player scores now shown on the scoreboard. Scores players are sorted on the scoreboards. Blur. Flag Horde's name is shown in the score bar. Repair tool, key bind, move to Z. Hang on. Uh, throw flag bomb. Flag bomb. This is the new game type. The flag bomb. Key bind, move to F. F for flag. Okay, F for flags. Uh, issues. Shooting range. Fix an issue. Blah, 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 blah. Repair tool fixes. Yes. Third pack may not deploy correctly. Is a known issue. Scoring will cause celebration of VFX to get stuck. <laughs> People have been saying that if they're defending in honor ball, they're just constantly <laughs> being pelted. Wonderful. Tutorial tech still under construction and may have incorrect key bind. Can we still talk about the fact that the default? For jets needs to be right mouse and the default for skiing needs to be spacebar can we talk about that as well anyway that's me rambling for 28 minutes huzzah nobody's gonna watch this anyway that was the patch notes and i have 10 minutes to prep my D, &D session now